to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. Welcome to another Desmond Saunders Marching North series video. Today we're visiting briefly three places we visited on that trip. Located seven miles southwest of Thurso in Caithness. Bradster Leans offers a strikingly diverse mosaic of wet grassland, pools, channels and brush pasture, all nestled in spectacular farmland. Keep your eyes peeled for birds such as grey lag geese, lapwings and hooper swans. We spotted this roe deer at extreme distance. As well as managing for the bird life, Work is ongoing to help encourage the great yellow bumblebee and the summer months should see a nectar rich wealth of flowers on this site. With wetland habitat disappearing at an alarming rate, Brabster will go to help make sure an even larger area of this vital natural resource is protected. Knock Frisidane Long Cairns, a pair of large Neolithic burial monuments dominating the local landscape. The two Longhorn burial cairns, set at right angles to each other, sit on the skyline at Knock Frisidane, looming large over the surrounding rural Caithness landscape. They likely date to about 5,500 years ago, but may have been altered or reused over many years. The cairns are thought to be more or less contemporary in date, though they may have never been excavated. The undisturbed nature of Notfrisidane makes them particularly important. Inside the tombs the chambers are likely to be corbelled with lintelled entrances, carefully constructed and perhaps displaying scratch decoration typical of Neolithic art.
looking at Head Lighthouse, approaching sunset. That's Orkney in the distance. Dunnett Head Lighthouse is an active 19th century lighthouse that stands on the 300 foot cliff top of Easter Head on Dunnett Head. The lighthouse is 66 feet tall and was built in 1831 by Robert Stevenson, grandfather of Robert Louis Stevenson. The lighthouse was automated in 1989 and the keepers were withdrawn. It is now checked remotely by the Northern Lighthouse Board Operations Centre in Edinburgh. Dunnet Head is a peninsula in Caithness on the north coast of Scotland. Dunnet Head includes the most northerly point of mainland Scotland. It's a wild and untamed landscape with stunning sea cliffs, coastal grasslands which give home to puffins, razorbills, guillemots, fulmers and kittiwakes. It can also be seen as the most western limit of the Pentland Firth on the first southern shores. Duncansby Head, further east, is the eastern limit. This stunning sunset gives no hint of the weather that can and does often hit the head.
cliffs of Donut Head has, and its coastal grassland form the home for puffins, razorbills, guillemots, fulmers, kittywakes, shags and cormorants. They are undertaking annual seabird monitoring work as part of national surveys to contribute to the knowledge of how seabirds are doing. Above the cliffs are some very diverse coastal heathland and grassland habitats with special plants such as spring squill, thrift and roseroot. For watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.